All right, well, local aspiring actress Debbie Mutladi has just lended herself an opportunity of a lifetime to further her acting career, of course, in Hollywood, USA. Now, the 15-year-old uh, Debbie Mutladi began her acting at the tender age of four, featuring in television commercials. I'm talking um, acting and just pursuing her interests. Now, Debbie has now, of course, been accepted at the Idle White's Arts Academy just outside of uh, Los Angeles, California, which is one of the very few specialized arts colleges close to Hollywood and has produced many of the A-list actors in the film industry. The Academy provides pre-professional arts training to young artists from all around the world and inspires as well as encourages students in music, in theater, dance, fashion design, moving pictures, into arts, creative writing as well as visual arts. Now she joins us in studio to tell us more about her life-changing experience. Tabby, welcome to AMUs. Mm. Now tell us how you landed this opportunity. Well, I've always loved acting and the whole entertainment industry since I was four years old and even mm -hmm. younger. And Crowford College, it kind of gave me a little bit more, I guess, boost. I, like, it made me really want to do acting even more. And through that, I met my agent, Addie Lang, and she's the owner of Caitlin's Castings. And mm -hmm. then from there, it just kind of went up. Now, you've always known that you wanted to be an actress at a very young age. What influenced your decision to pursue acting? To be honest, I really don't know. <laughs> I just know that every time I would watch a movie, I would like always want to act along with it and everything. Like mm. High School Musical, I remember I used to be in my room and every time I would come on, I'd just go and I'd be like, I'd be Vanessa Hudgens and I'd be <laughs> acting as her, so. Yeah. It's just, yeah. And landing this opportunity, of course, to study in Hollywood, what does it mean to you as young actress, a young actress? Because it doesn't come every day for the young South African. What does it mean to you? It means a lot to me, especially being able to go out to the U.S. and represent South Africa. And hopefully when I get there and I learn everything and I can come back and I can share the knowledge that I have gained with other aspiring entertainers here yeah. in South Africa. I think that's a very great idea that you feel that you still want to come back and impact your skills and share it with the rest of the country. Definitely. And I yeah. hope that others will be inspired by it. Absolutely. Now, now tell us about um, which opportunities, how you feel actually about, you know, the, the, the stage we are in right now in the entertainment industry, especially opportunities for young people. I mean, do you feel there are enough opportunities for young people in our country? I feel there are plenty of opportunities. I just don't think South Africa gets enough, gets enough exposure. So hopefully by going over there, I can show them that, you know, South Africa, we do have people here and then we can, you know, get us on a little bit of a higher yeah. level. And what do you think needs to be done? What do you think should be like that drastic change that could potent, potentially, of course, um, impact change in young people who are actresses? I think, like I said before, giving South Africa a, a bit more exposure and by uh, sending a, maybe a few of our people there to learn mm. a little bit more and they can also bring it here and then teach other people, you know, yeah. and it just keeps going on. Tell us about your family. They should be very proud of you. <laughs> <laughs> I hope they are. My family is very supportive, and I love mm. them so much. I don't think oh. I would be here without them. Yeah. So I, I love them, and, and I, I thank them. And I think it's quite an interesting family, especially parents you have there, because I know most parents probably encourage their children to pursue, you know, um, being doctors and lawyers, and to have such a strong support system that supports your career should be very encouraging indeed. It is very encouraging, and I'm grateful for it. I'm thankful that my parents, both of them, and like everyone else in my family supports me 100%. Yeah. So. And how long will you be in the U.S. for? Well, I will be doing grade 11, mm -hmm. and then I will come back here. All right. Now, any advice you want to impart on the, other, the next young actress in South Africa? Just before you leave, we need, we need those messages. <laughs> <laughs> I think I would just say that stick to what you believe in, and if you know that you can get there, you will get there with determination and hard work and support. Mm -hmm. You can get to the top. Well, congratulations to you. We're so proud of you as a country and hope you do us proud and yourself proud. Thank you. Thanks for joining us. Thank you for having me. All right, that was Debbie Motladi, um, of course, who is headed out to Hollywood to further her acting career. We wish her all the best of luck.